So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and now open the console incognito window now here many of you are facing issues like job is failing do not worry we'll complete this lab together and basically if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now here basically it is getting signed in automatically and then a pop-up will come you have to just click on i understand and the next step is that let's stay tuned and follow each and every step so just stay tuned here just click on i agree and then click on agree and continue now basically from the search box you have to click on the cloud storage you can see you have to click on this search box now click on cloud storage and if it is not visible what you need to do you have to just type cloud storage and then come to the bucket section okay come to the bucket section now from here you have to create a bucket so just for the bucket name you can see the name over here just copy it carefully make sure there is no extra space or full stop or anything in this section while pasting the name now here the location type is multi-region and us if they change it to regional or multi-region you can see here multiple options are here select accordingly now here we don't have to make any changes just click on continue and create it will take some time meanwhile from here just type data flow and just wait a second data flow right click over here and just open the jobs in a new tab do not worry even if you fail the job and do not worry even the job fails do not worry i will tell you how you can complete it so just stay tuned now activate the cloud shell you need to follow along the video to complete the lab so just follow all the steps as i am mentioning you'll be able to complete the lab without any issue now here it is just initiating you have to just click on continue and then authorize yourself right so it will take some time so just wait for it now here basically first of all let me increase the font size now let's come to the lab instruction now here you'll be needing a personal notepad or you can just if you are pro you can just import it anywhere in the browser window also now just check the score and run this second command so just run it it will take some time so wait for it now come back again to the lab instruction and run the second command so let's come back and here you can see this one you have to just copy from here and just paste over here like this now again it will take some time so wait for it Now once it is completed it will look like this so basically now we have to come back again to the lab instructions let me show you how we have to do so meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and like the video now let's come back to the lab instructions and run the another command now chances are there first of all run this command now chances are there you may feel you may see the lab job basically the job which was to be initiated may fail so do not worry about it first of all once it is done open a personal notepad or you can use any online notepad or you can just paste it directly if you can now from here if you have closed the basically bucket you can just open it cloud storage and then come again to the bucket section and just copy and paste the bucket name now here while pasting let me show you what mistake you may do while pasting you have to replace it like this now here you can see we have extra space so what you can do you can replace it like this by using backspace key or you can just make sure if you are completely new and feel this difficult come back again and just copy it like this okay i know it might sound very weird but still many people want perfect step by step guide so that's why i have done this instance instantly sorry now just run the second command and now wait for it to get completed now chances are there you may face some kind of issues like the job will fail again or the job may start depending on the lab it's totally up to the lab so let's see what happens
so here you can see the job status is showing failed now what we have to do in such cases okay what we have to do if you face similar issue like the job and the pipeline has been failed let's move ahead to the next step of this lab so if you want to see you can come to the job section of the data flow and just verify whether the job was running or failed and the next step starts here so just stay tuned Oh, click on these three basically the navigation option you can see now from here go to the apis and services then click on the library okay now from here just type data flow just type data flow and just you have to click on it now click on manage on the top you can see disable api just click on it and click on disable now if it doesn't work sometimes what happened it doesn't work so you have to just click on disable api again and disable it and wait for some time okay just like this let me show you you have to just disable it like this now once you have done this wait for at least 10 to 15 seconds and then enable it okay so just click on enable it and it will take more time so just wait for it so finally our api has been enabled after disabling it so now we have to wait for at least 10 to 20 seconds you can wait for a minute also and then we will just initiate the same command so just start the cloud shell no need to open here because we have already opened the jobs now here you have to just run the same command task number three point number two now just run it and here you'll see the task will start initiating and after four to five minutes your job will also be completed and that's how we completed the lab so do like the video and subscribe the channel uh, one more thing i want to say in the description box i've shared all the lab free courses skill badges and basically the arcade games which are live so you can just complete it and if you are having any difficulty just navigate through the playlist section okay so that's all about this video let's wait for some time for the job to get completed and then we'll check the score and finally we will be done with the level one game or basically the data flow lab Now here you can see the job status is showing as done. Now what we have to do, we have to just come back to the lab instruction and check the score. If you want to verify whether your job was succeeded, come over here and refresh it. And as you can see here, finally job has been done and we have completed the lab. So that's how we completed the lab. If you have any issue, do let me know in the comments. Thank you guys. Have a great day.